Hi again, everybody. Okay, so after the um, interesting Savion Blanc tasting, which I might just add, um, I managed to have another glass of just to make sure I really didn't appreciate it. Uh, we thought we'd move on to a lovely Chilean red by the same vineyard. So it's Tingui and it's a Merlot. So not as strong as a big Cab Sav or a, um, a Shiraz, but lovely velvety soft berries. You know, I'm not going to again use those terms i don't know about tenons i don't know what that means um i just know that i do like merlot because i do like reds are my favorite so let's give this a go now we have decanted this guys it's been out for about an hour um you know it just helps develop the aromas it lets it breathe it oxygenates it a bit i mean i do love my tasting sizes um anywho let's get this on the road all righty let's go Oh, that's smooth. That's really nice. Um, I'm used to a big peppery Shiraz, so I'm, I was waiting for the spice. But it is it is very berry. It's very, um, that's really subtle. It's very, very nice. Um, yeah, that won't be lasting. That, that won't be thrown out tonight. Anyway, um, I will chat with you soon. Yes, well, a rather nice dark red. Oh, not as gamey as my favourite red, which is a Shiraz, or as I've made the mistake previously, calling it not so much gamey, but fresh kill, cool, just the hunter coming out of me. But um, good colour, nice dark colour, good aromas. Mm. Very nice, not bad at all. For a, um, oh, it's a Merlot, being from Chile. I actually thought it was going to be a Melbourne, but very drinkable. I'll be definitely having this again. Um, a very good quaffing wine. Um, yeah, no, very nice. Thanks, Jace.